Hey, good morning. We have uh, a new little project this morning. Rock was gonna help me with. Uh, we've picked up a uh, tiller yesterday for the new tractor. It needs a little work, it needs a little welding. I'm not the best welder, so don't critique my welding. Uh, and uh, I don't know the, the actual brand of the tiller, but uh, I picked it up for $800. I thought that was a pretty good deal. All the uh, gearboxes, uh, the gearbox and, and the train drive is free inside and everything like that. So let's come with me today and uh, see if we can get that uh, up and running and everything like that. I'll flip you around and show you what we got. So like I said, I don't know the manufacturer of this tiller, looks to be in fairly good shape. The owner, previous owner said about two years ago they put all new blades on and I would say that's a true statement. They don't look like they got any nicks on them or anything like that. A couple of them are, are loose, you can see it definitely turns just fine. Uh, so I got tighten some of the, those bolts. I'm gonna clean it up and then looks like the previous owner to the one that I got it from, there's a weld right here and uh, it's cracked a little bit. So I'm gonna repair that. And uh, yeah, so that's today's project. Come with me as uh, we try to get this thing operational. forget because I've made the mistake before and I got a piece of metal in my eye make sure you're wearing eye protection and uh, some ear protection just uh, protect yourself guys let's continue on so we got done cleaning up the weld and I can see the crack a little bit better so it goes really from here all the way up to here and then it goes all the way around I'm not the best welder guys but the previous welds were not deep at all and they were basically surface level that's why it didn't hold so hopefully I can do a little bit better. Let's see. So we got our welder set up. We're gonna attempt to uh, weld this together. Like I said, I'm not the best welder. I'm uh, not looking for any criticism either. But uh, we'll uh, get this all patched up, cleaned up, and I'll uh, do a little time lapse as I'm, I'm doing it. Um, so let's get going. So we just got done. It's not the best, but I'm probably gonna have to come back as middle way through this uh, nice welding event. I ran out of gas. But uh, we'll paint it up and then we'll have to come back and address it later uh, when I can go get some more gas. So the next part is going to be Rockwell's favorite part and that's where he gets to play in the water. And I get to use a pressure washer. Let's see how wet he gets and how clean that gets. Here we go. <music> half of it it's coming clean and as you see the blades are still free and everything yeah I think that's working good what do you think Rockwell right 
So, I think it's about time to uh, test it out. I'm going to flip it around, connect the uh, shaft there, connect it up to the tractor, and uh, see if she uh, runs. So, shaft's installed with the sheath on top uh, of the shaft, so nothing gets spun up and around or anything like that. It's set in a position where I should be able to get it with the tractor and back into it. So let's see if we can do that. somehow and I think the answer is probably a yes um, so let's find out if I could take this part off real quick it appears either the shaft came this way or someone was really uh, rough with this tiller uh, this whole shaft is twisted I don't know 35 45 degrees uh, for the last six inches I don't know if that's normal but on our John Deere that we had they're all straight so I don't think that's normal so I may have to go get a new shaft for this one just more parts. So, after thinking about it for a second, I tilted the uh, tiller back at an angle this way, and it gave me the extra inch or so I needed to start to get the shaft on. So, I'm about to click it in, and uh, I know the, the sheath is not on there right now, but uh, I'll put that on when uh, I can make sure this works. So, here we go. go it is locked so the shaft is on and now these linkages right here I need to take the slack out on either side so that it prevents wear on the tire right here so let's go do that real quick all right we are all connected and if you can see are nice and tight right in there and we got about a finger width on that side if we come over here we got our same gap nice and tight hopefully this is gonna work for us all right let's fire her up and see So 
So I think that worked pretty well. Um, we got a few things left on the um, tiller right here. So some of the blades still need to be tightened. Okay. Um, we're gonna get some more welding gas and uh, hopefully penetrate that break a little bit deeper than what I was able to get with uh, my gas running halfway out. Do me a favor, if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us. Tell me what your favorite part of this whole experience was in the comments. And uh, if you have any idea what type of tiller this is, throw that in the comments as well because I do not know. Y'all have a wonderful day. Talk to you later.